Hey Facebook, Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. I have projects everywhere right now. I um, have lots of new stuff with spring coming up. I always like to incorporate some new stuff into my um, offerings. And how cute is this? Now, this was my prototype, so I need to make a few changes, um, such as like placings of the where the holes are and things like that, but that is coming up soon. So if you missed it, I'll give me another sneak peek. Look how cute. Um, and what I love about this is you can change the ribbon. So it's so stinking cute. Um, all right, so if you're on, hop on and let me know. Just give leave a comment and I am going to paint some stuff. I've got these, which, oh no, dropping stuff. Um, I pulled my bunnies. Hey Kayla, welcome. I pulled my bunnies from the studio from last year. Do y'all remember the bunnies? They all had different ears. Hey Cody, welcome, welcome. Um, I was showing some new stuff today. I've got these adorable hearts. I love that this has ribbon too. How cute would this be with this black and white gingham ribbon? Wouldn't that be adorable? So these are two new products that Kinsley's Creative Palette will be offering. And then I'm working on a personal project right now. I love Easter. Like Easter is my favorite thing to decorate for, um, not to mention uh, the reason behind Easter. So anyway, I decorated for Easter this weekend my dining room table. Hey Denise, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, so I decorated and I couldn't find napkin rings that I liked. So I was at the lab cutting one of the new signs and I decided to cut some. So I cut this shape and I cut this little bunny and some Easter eggs. So I've been painting those. I've got, I've primed them. I haven't actually put the um, final coats of paint on. But then, ah, so much new stuff. Look at this. I got an order of metal in. So is this a an, an really cute bow tie? Do I look like the Easter Bunny with a really big bow tie? So these are not put together, but I'll show you what this is. Those are the leaves. And I'm not done painting, but let's see if I can pick this up. This is one of the metal flower sets. So how pretty is that going to be? I still have to finish painting it and get it all the way I want it. But that's also sitting here on my table. So we've got all this going on, but that's not what I'm on here to show you. What I'm on here to show you are these. And if you're just joining us, um, after the live video, I'll go back and post the link. You'll have to check out what I showed at the beginning. So, what are these for? They look like kid size shapes, don't they? But, they're not kid size shapes. I will show y'all a little bit later exactly what they're going on. But for now, I'll just have to tell you. Because the glue is still drying on all my letters. Hey, Jessica. Welcome. Um, the big welcome signs, we're going to remove the O, and each season, you can put a different mini door hanger. Thank you, Denise. I can't wait to finish it. I still want to kind of, I don't know, do a few more things to it. So, you'll have these little miniature door hangers to go in place of the O for either home or welcome signs with metal letters. So, I'm working on those Right now, they are actually um, primed in my kitchen on the floor right now. My husband's going to walk in pretty soon and be like, what's going on over here? But for now, I'm just going to paint because painting's more fun than um, cleaning up the big mess you make when you're crafty. So, I'm going to grab some pink paint. And this is going to be multifunctional. I'm actually, I, now I primed these. I don't know if you can see. I primed these at the same time that I primed my boards, and they're like pallet boards, but longer. The home sign is about 40 inches tall, and then the other sign is, I think, like 56 inches tall, 
it says welcome and then the smaller home one has bigger letters. So I'm gonna paint a little bit. I'm gonna get some red and some pink on my plate. And I'm gonna show y'all one more time since we've got more people on now, these others. This cutie patootie, this is metal and it's got holes so you can push through right there and that adorable oh are you Cody I think they're so cute and I've been wanting one for my front um, porch to replace the sign I have out there so this was the other one hey Lisa welcome I've got two Lisa's right in a row awesome another Lisa oh my gosh that is too funny Lisa Burkert Burkhart, sorry, Lisa Brumfield and Lisa Chambers all in a row. That is too cute. So this was the other that I am still, this was my prototype. I'm still working on it, but I'll be offering it soon. And then I've been working on some metal flowers. Yes, I love all those things too. Behind me is my sewing machine and my serger, which I haven't used in, I haven't used my serger in quite a while. Okay, let me get my arm out of your way, and I'm going to paint. Actually, I need a smaller brush than that. Nah, I'll use the big one. Let's see. There's another Lisa. Two more Lisas. Oh, my goodness, guys. Y'all have to, like, scroll up and see. So, I have five hellos in the last, like, ten people. Um, you, I love the W at the first letter. Last name with the first letter. Love this. W, the last name with the first letter. Um, so I've got all these Lisas. I'm so glad to have all of these Lisas on today. Okay, so I'm going to start in pink. Six. Six Lisas. Craziness. It's craziness, I tell you. It's craziness. Hey, Joanna. And, oh, I was going to paint this. Okay, so I'm going to start painting my heart pink. I just grabbed some pink paint and some red paint and I figured I would paint my napkin holders so I'm painting some napkin holders that I cut out at the studio this weekend um, and I'm also painting some um, signs these are like miniature door hangers to go on the welcome signs Lisa I don't know how that happens and I'm speaking to Lisa Brumfield at the moment but I think there were six of y'all that we counted. Hey, Melissa, welcome. Another L, that's right, we got a Linda now. Got lots of L's today. Okay, so I'm just slapping a quick coat of pink on here. Got a paint boogie, get it off. And then I'm gonna move on to my napkin rings. Let's see. Okay. Quick coat, pink. Move it out of the way. Okay. Now, I painted a couple of these light pink already, so I'm going to paint those pink again. All right. So, I'm painting my napkin rings now. And I can't decide if I want to paint these, like, with little noses or if I just want to leave them all solid colors, what would you do? Y'all weigh in and let me know. I keep getting stuff on me. Let's see. Uh, pink. I think I'm going to do some blue. Okay. Move those out of the way. Y'all like how I do that with my paintbrush? And... I also put some red paint out here, so I'm going to set this down. Solid, you think so too? Thank you so much, Lisa. That's very sweet. Um, let's see. I'm going to paint some red since I got it out. Polka dots? Oh, Sherry, that would be so cute. Did I say that right? Is it Sherry or is it Cherry like the fruit? You'll have to let me know. And thank you for chiming in. And Susan, thank you for your input as well. Okay, so I'm going to paint. I had to think about this for just a second. 
the inside of the watermelon red. Now guys, um, I always try to give you not a fruit. Okay, so Sherry. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, Haley, Teresa, how are you doing this afternoon? Okay, so I always try to give y'all some tips when I'm on, and hopefully they're helpful. But one tip that I'll give you today, and I have a trimmer, so I shake. Um, so if you're watching and you're like, what's wrong with her? It's I'm like this all the time. Uh, so I'm going to get on one side of my brush, I'm going to load my paintbrush. You can see that? Now, I am going to drag it very slowly to make that crisp line. In order to get that good crisp line, you need to load your paintbrush and go slow. So load and slow. And... I'm gonna come back, I started running out of paint, so I'm gonna come back and do it again. And that got me all the way to the end. So, let me show you the difference. This, see how that's not crisp? Was not with a loaded paintbrush. This, on the other hand, was. So, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna fix that. I loaded my paintbrush. Hey, Yvonne, how are you this afternoon? Loaded my paintbrush. I'm gonna go real slow. Loaded a little bit more. I ran out of paint too early. Oh, me too. <sighs> Denise, so mine has gotten worse over the years and I'm just getting to the point where like I'm being asked all the time and maybe it's because more people see me use my hands now, but does it embarrass you? Because it kind of embarrasses me. And I actually this weekend, was praying about it, and I was like, Lord, if it's your will that I have shaky hands for the rest of my life, then so be it. I will accept it, but it's really hard for me. It's really hard for me to think I'm going to have to live with it getting worse for the rest of my life. So, there's me being honest, being honest and transparent. All right, so now I'm going to fill it in. I've got my crisp line. And um, when I went to the doctor the last time, I'll tell you all this because it was kind of funny. Um, the lady went to check my blood pressure. Yes, sometimes. The lady went to check my blood pressure and she go, or no, what is it that they put that little thing on your finger? Your pulse. She went to check my pulse. And she goes, honey, are you nervous? No, I'm always like this. It's just, I don't know. I'm just going to have to get used to it. Okay, so watermelon is prepped. Let's switch back over. Let's see what we want to do next. Oh, that one's still very wet. Just so if anyone was wondering, my heart that I painted still very wet. Figured that out the hard way. Um, I'm going to do a light blue for an egg. Actually, I think I'm going to do two Easter eggs. Now, should I paint those white and should I decorate them? I don't know. I'm still thinking. Hey, Carla. Welcome back. Carla's in the house with, from Odessa, Texas. I don't want to get paint all over me today. Not that I never ever do that. Never. Never. I get paint all over everything. Okay. So, do I want to do two Easter eggs? I only have four napkins. Pulse and oxygen. Yes, Carla, that's what it is. My pulse and my oxygen. She was trying to get that, and I was shaking, and she was worried that I was nervous. Yes, that's exactly what she did. Y'all are so smart. See, we got all these nurses in the house or medical field people. I'm not one of them. I'm just not. All right, I think I'm going to do... Don't be embarrassed. Oh, you're so sweet, Lisa. It's it's funny because in the studio, whenever I'm I'm having parties and I sit down to paint on someone's sign, they're always like, how do you paint on a sign if you're so shaky? Yes, I'm going to be thankful. I did this weekend. I was like, Lord, if that's your will for me, I'm going to accept it. But it doesn't make it, I don't know, it doesn't make it easier. 
Okay, so I painted this one blue and all of a sudden I decided I want to do a yellow egg. So I don't have light yellow. Oh, yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. Thank you, Barbara, you're so sweet. I'm glad you're watching. Is this the first time you've ever watched me or it's your first time catching me live? Because I've got lots of videos if you wanna go back and watch some of the others. This one, I was showing some new fun products that are coming up. And I thought I would go ahead and paint while I was sitting here. Um, so let's see. I need another brush. Anybody counted how many brushes I've used so far? Because it's a lot. Okay. All right. So I'm going to paint this one. Yes. First time watching. Well, you're in luck. I've got lots of fun videos. You can go back and watch just when you're on the page. Click videos and they should pop up. All right, I'm gonna paint one of these bunnies yellow or blue, blue, I'm painting blue. Okay, so now I have a yellow egg, two pink bunnies, and I'm gonna paint another bunny blue. Let's see. Quick. So today is Tuesday and um, Laura, I'm so glad you joined us too. First time. Um, I'm Kara from Kinsley's Creative Palette. Sometimes, Lisa, um, it chopped off your comment, so I'm going to have to go back and read that later, but I really appreciate you messaging or you leaving that because um, I read the part where you said you have bad days and you tell yourself to be thankful. I need that. I need that. Um, Christy and I were just talking about that earlier today. It's so easy to have somebody else be able to encourage you. Um, let's see. And that Laura said, okay, so what was I about to say? I forgot. Oh, well, I don't know. It's gone completely. Gone completely. Okay, so new things. I'm going to show y'all again. If you've already um, been watching from the beginning, just bear with me for like 30 seconds, but I want to give catch up some of the other people while... My paint is drying, and yes, I'm literally fanning it with my hands at this point. So, I have a metal bow tie. No, not really. I have metal flowers. Let me put this right here so I can show you. This is... Oh, that's what we were going to talk about. How my kids haven't been to school in forever. Snow and ice in Oklahoma today, so you got off early, made it possible. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad you got off early. So here's the metal flower pieces that I need to finish painting and put together. And then this right here, which I am just in love with, I just think is precious, um, is metal. And you can see the detail work on that, which I just love. And that's new. And then this is new. Thank you, Lisa. I'm loving the flower too. I just have to finish painting it. This is new, which is a W with ribbon. And I love that you can change that ribbon out for the different seasons. Laura, I love the heart too. And that gingham ribbon would look really awesome with that W too. So that gingham ribbon would do double double time. Then I have these small like miniature door hangers that are going to go in place of the O for, um, they're going to go in place of the O in the welcome and the home signs. So here's another little one. Where'd I get the metal? Um, from a wholesaler. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Okay. I'm going to paint some green next while this still dries. So let's get, I'm going to paint lime. This is, um, what is this one called? Apple tart. So I'm going to grab some of that and I'm going to wash the paintbrush. Okay. I just have to tell you, Denise, Lisa, I love that y'all are like having a conversation on here and that one of your comments is encouraging the other one. That makes me so happy. Y'all are so awesome. Okay, so we got my green. 
and I'm going to paint the top of my pineapple green and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to paint the um, rind of my watermelon green. Okay, let's see here. Oh, so I was going to tell y'all, my kids have been out of school a whole lot with the weather. And, um, I, you know, it's hard for me, Laura, to get, um, to go far away. I actually, I've got a vendor event this Thursday, um, but it's really hard with my kids just because I'm the one who's always here to get them off the bus and things like that. I'm kind of, I'm a mom first, but we have been out of school for snow days. We've had snow days every week for the last several weeks. And then triangle brushes from Walmart. These are not from Walmart, but I did see where they've started carrying the triangle brushes. And I'll tell you the reason that I really like them is because if I leave them soaking in water, if anything, this will come apart from this, but my handle doesn't get messed up. And let me show you what I mean. You probably can figure it out, but I'll show you anyway. So this is my favorite one inch flat brush, but I'm so bad. I leave them in water for so long that this awesome handle looks like this now and it's not comfortable. So I'm a big fan of the plastic handled brushes. Um, and yes, so this one is the kind from Walmart. I don't know what the shapes of the ends of theirs look like. Okay, let's paint this. All right, so I just told y'all a little bit earlier, but I'll say it again. If you are trying to get good crisp lines, you load your brush on one side and go slow. I'm going really slow. My brush is loaded. And I'm getting right up next to that red. Y'all probably can't see because I have too many things going on. Denise, where are you? We've had quite a bit, and I think we're supposed to get more this week, which at this point, I just want my kids to be able to pass this school year. So I don't mind if they're home, but we were going to take a trip, and I'm hoping that they don't miss too many days. Oh, oh my puppy's heard something. Okay, so here is, there's that, and you can see those lines where they meet. They're not all smudgy. Lisa, I am in Ohio, Dexter, Missouri. Nice. Uh-oh, I hear my kids running around. It probably would have been cute to do one of those shapes, hmm, in green. Should I paint one of the pink ones green? I don't know. Can't decide. I don't know. I can't make decisions today. Yep, I'm going to paint this one green. You know why? Because it has splatters on it of green paint. So it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Oh, he's going to be so cute. If any of you are fellow crafting business owners, what new products are y'all adding this spring? Or do you not add in the spring? Some people may get that bug to add in the fall or the winter. I just tend to always add in the spring. All right. I wish I could show y'all the big mess I have down here. Oh, my battery says it's getting low. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to paint this pink heart. I'm going to put another coat on. And then I'm going to let that dry. And then we're going to do, I'm trying to decide if I want to do red and white polka dots or just red polka dots. I think I'm just going to do red polka dots out of paint. So 
So on my table here, I have the metal flowers. I have my little heart that I'm painting. I have five napkin rings. I only need four, but I guess I'm going to pick the four best ones. I have my pineapple miniature door hanger and my watermelon miniature door hanger. So we've got lots of fun stuff going on. And I was going to tell everybody, I am getting ready to ship out the wooden door hangers for the month. We are painting an Easter bunny. Hey, Christy. We're painting an Easter bunny this month with polka dots. It's like the peep. It's like the back of the Easter bunny. And we're going to do it in some fun colored polka dots. If anyone wants to join us from home, just let me know. Leave a comment below, let me know, and I will get you information on how you can join us. Okay, I'm gonna quit touching that one. Stick that in the water. Now, let me go back to the blues dry. So let me go back to the blue. What do I have up, up my sleeves? Oh, Christy, I have so much up my sleeves. Um, you'll have to look whenever I go back to the beginning or go back to the beginning when I post. I'll give you a quick preview. Give me just a second. But I, I do have lots up my sleeve. Sherry, you want, you want information on how to paint at home? Um, Christy, let me show you. I have metal flowers. Let me pull this up, see if I can hold all the pieces together. I have metal flowers up my sleeves. I have, oh, metal hearts. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love it. And I have some new initial ribbon frames that are coming soon. And last but not least, the home signs I'm replacing with them. They'll have metal letters. And I'm replacing the O's with these little mini door hangers. So, pineapple. There's a watermelon. I'm painting a heart over here. I'm thinking it's going to come with um, six. Thinking that's how many. But we should have some workshops coming up in the studio closer to spring maybe late spring. So that's what I have up my sleeves. Let's see. So I'm painting napkin rings for my kitchen table. Um, Easter is my favorite time to decorate. Okay, those are all painted, so am I. Let's see, this yellow. This yellow looks very green to me. Hey, Christina from Pennsylvania. Welcome. So glad you're watching. What's the weather like where you are? We were just talking about all the crazy weather going around. Someone got off work early and was able to catch the live video. She's usually at work. My kids actually had school today. They were out yesterday. First time, Stephanie. First time from Kentucky. What part of Kentucky? Yes, it is. I'm sorry. I, I have my door closed, but they heard the kids run from the basement to the upstairs. And so now they're barking. Should I, should I jump off? It's embarrassing. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Glasgow, Kentucky. I don't know where that is. My business partner and good friend is in Louisville, Kentucky, but I don't know where Glasgow is. I actually have three fur babies. Oh, let me see. Chilling in a snow tomorrow in Kansas. Nope. No. Chilling in a snow tomorrow in... Not sure. Oh, Christy says... No, don't jump off. <laughs> Okay, I won't. I won't jump off. 
But um, Sammy is, I'll tell you a story about my little one that's in there barking. He was left on the side of the road in Texas on Valentine's Day last year. Yes, Valentine's Day. And my family is in Texas. And I went home. I'm actually going next week too. But I went home last year. And um, my sister has a dog kennel. And she had him at the kennel. She had rescued him off the side of the road. And um, I fell in love with him. And when I realized that he wasn't one of her kennel babies, like he didn't have a parent, um, I brought him back from Texas to Ohio on an airplane. Y'all ready for this? He was in a dog diaper. Not a dog diaper, sorry. A baby diaper. Literally was not potty trained. He had been, I don't know, he, he was a happy tinkler. So he pretty much just would nervous and excited tinkler. So we had to um, put a baby diaper on that dog. I had to take him through the airport with the baby diaper on. It was so funny, but I love him to pieces. And he's um, pretty much, he's pretty much my husband's favorite dog. He's the second one I've brought back from Texas. The last one, she's in there too. Um, she is, she's probably six or seven now. And um, her name's Libby. So I'm the crazy animal lady. I love all the animals. What kind is he? He's a Chewini. So I have three puppies. I have a Chewini, which is a Chihuahua, and a Dachshund. And that's what he is. And then I have, what is Libby? Libby's half Chihuahua, half Jack Russell. And then my other is, oh my gosh, he's like this little fuzzball. He is part poodle part Maltese, part Chihuahua. So they are, they're the loves of my life. Next to my kids, of course, and my husband. But I love my dogs. My happy place is sitting on the couch drinking coffee with my puppies. So, yes. All right, I'm gonna paint the bottom of my pineapple. Christina, I can only see part of your comment. It turned it it um cut it off, so I'm gonna have to go back and read it. But animal lovers are my favorite type, kind of people. Like that's just it says something great about you if you love animals. Oh, this paint is covering so well. I don't know if y'all know this, but yellow paint is normally very translucent. This paint. I always say, if you can, to add a drop of brown. I drop, I add white more often than not. Um, my other Jack Russell, or my Chihuahua Jack Russell, she was um, a stray too. She had been picked up. It was, that's another sad story. She had been picked up on the side of the road close to my hometown. And they took her to the animal shelter, like the dog catcher picked her up. And when I went in to, to see her, I actually was not there to get a dog, but I did go to the animal shelter, so I pretty much knew I would leave with one. But my son was, and he was a toddler at the time, and she was, she fell in love with him. And I thought, you know, he was afraid of dogs up until that point, and I felt like if she was going to be um, okay with him, she would make a good dog for us. Because little dogs, they're not always good. They're not always good with um, with kids. Okay, Carla, I gotta stop here. You have a hundred and eighty pound mastiff and a ten pound Chihuahua mix. Okay, so that's totally not what I read the first time. Just imagine what I read the first time. It would have been very painful if the mom was a Chihuahua. Let's just say it would have been very painful. All right, I'm putting a second coat of green on. Now, here's the trick. These are things I talk about during our virtual paint party. If you wanna know more about how to paint with me at home every month and how to make 
a door hanger from home. Um, I talk you through the whole video, so I'll tell you different tricks and tips. I can go really fast when I put the second coat on because I went really slow the first time and I got my line good and crisp. Okay, so I'm gonna... Laura, I bet you're right. I bet you're right. See, I have three Chihuahua mixes and they all think they're boss. But none of mine are over 10 pounds. Yes, 180 pounds. That's craziness. Feel free, guys, to put the pictures of your sweet fur babies in the comments. I can send you all a picture of mine later if you want me to. Because I love them to pieces. <laughs> Carla said, yes, the Chihuahua is the boss. Um, there's a Mastiff. Hey, Rebecca, welcome. There's a Mastiff that one of the kids that my son plays football with, they have, and they got him as a puppy at the same time I got Roscoe, which is my Maltese Chihuahua Poodle Mix, and um, he's afraid of Roscoe. He's afraid of Roscoe. Now, Roscoe's like this big. He's about four pounds and a ball of energy, but it's really funny to me how the big dogs are always submissive to the little ones. All right, I am now doing the dreaded paint the sides of the napkin holders. Why is it we hate to paint the sides? Rebecca, welcome. It's your first time joining. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're here. If you missed the beginning, I will post the live video after um, I'm all done and you can go back and you can see um, you can go back and see the fun stuff that I have up my sleeves I would show you right now but I'm right now I'm covered in paint and I'll just tell you this was one of them well those are all wet this is one of the things Denise I will for sure show y'all I'll get on and show you later Blaine Smith, welcome. So I am making some home and welcome signs with miniature wooden door hangers in place of the, Z the O, almost said the zero. Karen, your first time too. Oh, and she gave me, it looks like the hug emoji. I love hugs, love hugs. Okay, let's see. So I'm painting these napkin holders for my dining room table while I'm painting all this other stuff. Because several of it or several of the items use the same color paint. So look at this cutie pie. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna set it down. And I think, oh, I'm gonna paint this green again. I'm just kind of I've got a few colors of paint on my tray, and I'm just kind of going around and everything that needs those colors I'm putting on. Thank you, Christina. I realized after I cut it that it needs a couple of tweaks before I can um, start selling it and list it and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to make a couple changes, but I am so excited because that is going to be so cool to be able to change out the ribbon for the seasons. Okay. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You get your initial, but you also get to um, let it be festive. Oh my gosh, he is driving me bonkers. Sammy do. He says, but mom, I hear you. I hear you. You're so close. You're so close. Look how cute. All right. So now let's jump back to, I'll do the red. And is this red? This had yellow on it. Do this yellow real quick. This has something on it. I'm going to try to get off. Where did I buy the initial? Oh, Christina, I make those. Where do you buy it? Um, it will be on my website before too long. If you'll send me a message when I do get them listed, I can send um, you a link. But they will be on the website. My website, I did a complete rebuild. So I'm still adding products and 
all of that good stuff, that that's where you would buy it. And for anyone who's um, wondering, the website is Kinsley's Creative Palette. Dot com. Let's see. If you're used to going to the old website, which was Kinsley's Closet, um, you can still get there by typing in Kinsley's Closet. It'll still go. It'll still go. It'll just reroute you. All right. Let me paint this bl backside blue. Paint the sides. Oh my gosh, I love this baby blue. So pretty. Oh. Need more. And then um, it did take quite a bit of ribbon. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got one of these um, floral ribbons. This said it was 18 feet. Um, I still have quite a bit left. Let me show you how much. I still have quite a bit left, but it did use quite a bit. So I would make sure that if there's a certain ribbon that you want, that you get a, a whole roll or at least a half. If you have a half a roll left, that should be enough. And obviously you could measure around and get a better idea of how much you need. I'm just thinking as I paint. Oh, I gotta tell y'all something funny. So, I've been trying to eat better just a little bit. I mean, I'm not 19 anymore, unfortunately. Well, actually, fortunately, I'm glad I'm not 19 anymore. I'm very happy with where my life is and all of that good stuff. And if I went back to 19, I wouldn't have my babies. So, anyway, um, I've been trying to eat better. And I've been getting on the scale every day. Let me just tell y'all. I went to get on that scale last night. It had been a couple days. My scale was broken broken like broken I don't even know what happened to it I don't know if my kids were playing on it I don't know if my husband accidentally like stepped on one side but it was broken so on my list of things to get out and do this week is to go to Walmart and buy us a new scale isn't that funny who wants to buy a scale I don't want to spend any money on something like that but I guess I'm going to have to because the scale really does motivate me. Y'all can ask questions. I'll answer. I'm trying to get these edges and these centers. Sammy is mad at me. He says, Mama. Quit talking to them and come talk to me. Way in the morning before you eat and drink. Laura, so I started um, doing a program call with Beachbody called To Be Mindset. And she encourages you to weigh every day to see. Um, she encourages you to weigh every day. So that you can see how the food that you ate the day before affected your weight. And honestly, I don't, I didn't really get, I don't really get discouraged by the scale because I can usually predict where the scale is going to go. 